Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my channel of the YouTube, the Vitor Pordeus channel. It has been, uh, uh, we are uh, uh, constructing this space as a space of debate, of reflection on uh, mental health, on culture, on crisis, on pandemics, and all uh, the pressing issues that we are facing right now uh, in Brazil and in, in, in the international environment. Uh, this is short movie, very short movie that I want to present today. It is like a video paper, it is like a video report of basically the last year of work here in the Dionysus Cl Theater Clinic, which is this community and clinical practice that we have been developing in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, we currently see uh, 15 families and we have a follow-up and the work and a consistent work on drama therapy and theater and uh, mental health promotion and transcultural psychiatry. So the sun will rise again. The sun always shines and the sun is shining in Central do Brasil, in the Brazil Central, which is this place where we were working this year, this last year, and has been very productive. So uh, we are uh, commemorating this first year of the Dionysus Theater Clinic in Rio de Janeiro, and, and we are reporting the one-year follow-up, the main findings that we could accumulate in this adventure of working in psychiatry in one of the maddest cities in the, in the world, which is the eye of the hurricane, uh, Rio de Janeiro. Uh, I want to thank my partners and my masters, uh, Thiago Beck, uh, Natalie Cristino, Eric Rodriguez, who work with me in the ground and have been working for the most of this year, and also Dilma Mesquita and uh, other people that have been uh, helping us and working, co-working, co-creating this work. And also the uh, Canadian researcher, Louise Rosenberg, that is in Montreal, that is also a key collaborator that have worked with us here in Rio. Uh, she came to Rio last October and we played Macbeth here with the group. So it's a very special thank you to Louise Rosenberg, who's a key collaborator for us in, in Canada and also in Brazil in this inter international phase of the project. And also Professor Jacques Arpin from uh, Genève, uh, who is also a supervisor and a supporter, a, a, a long years uh, a supervisor of this work. And also Professor Jason Guzder, who is a, a transcultural psychiatrist from McGill, uh, who I have the honor also to have as a supervisor and a a collaborator, a key collaborator in this year. So uh, the first result we brought, uh, it's actually this map of actions. Né? So we are showing here uh, all the main actions that have, have happened. Uh, one of the main actions in red is medical consultations. We did a lot of medical consultations, uh, around 208 medical consultations. Also, we had a very important participation of the artistic residencies. It were, were, it were 194 days of uh, artistic residency that we have been uh, uh, doing in the, in the community here in Rio. And also in, 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 in purple, you will see the diverse and many uh, theater-related activities that we have been doing since from workshops and training, actor training, uh, the p performance of uh, spectacles like Lila by Goethe and also Hamlet which by Shakespeare. I presented it in, Ven in Venice uh, in, in, in May 2019. I represented and worked in Elsinore in the Hamlet castle and also uh, the Bacchae that have been, uh, have been performed in a glorious uh, season in the beach, in the Arpoador beach, which is in Ipanema. And also we did a lot of, uh, then we have a small uh, fragmentary courses and, and clinical meetings and scientific meetings. And we also had a vegan uh, bean uh, dish from Brazil. So this is basically the map of the mine. Uh, if you want a mental health promotion, you need good actions. So if you, if you do a lot of good actions, then you will achieve a mental health promotion. The man is what he does, not what he speaks, as Jean-Paul Sartre said. And 
another very important partnership that is started last year and is still going on and we intended to go on more and more is uh, the mental health promotion at school uh, with uh, Professor Dilma Mesquita who is an actress in the Dionysus Theater and also she's becoming a therapist and also she's working, uh, she's a, a professor, a teacher, in, a literature teacher in a, one of the uh, most traditional public schools of Rio which is the Colégio Pedro II and, and, and this is an image of prophetic inspiration which is uh, the work with the kids in the school, in the communities. We played Lila by Goethe, which is a play about psychic healing that uh, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe uh, wrote in 1818 uh, in Germany. And uh, it's a, a play where you have this physician called Veratio, and he uh, heals psychosis through theater. And it was written in 1818, and we played it, it was glorious. We achieved very significant results. Uh, one of the most important uh, methods that we have, we think we found, is this idea of an acting method as a way to evaluate performance, conduct, and clinical evaluation. So we, we look at it. That's, if the person is present, it's participating, is it singing, dancing, gesture, contribution in collective efforts, role-playing, character playing, poetry declamation, improvised discourse, and also report statements, pictures, movies, and other documents that may show what is happening to the performance of the, of the client, of the patient, and of the healers, and of the therapists too, because that's a collective ritual, right? it's a collective work. It involves uh, public space, it involves a, a profound de and deep sense of collectivity, and we uh, have to make a scale of it. So we have these 10 parameters to uh, help us to estimate how can we uh, evaluate the acting uh, performance of a person. And the key finding in our understanding is that when you evaluate the clinical, uh, the, the, the acting and the performance, you, you find a window through the unconscious of the patient, and you can see uh, also the psychic inner state, you can see archetypes, you can see uh, the con imagetic contents, and, and with that, uh, and with the follow-up in the performance and the follow-up of the presence of the engagement, we formulated a scale where you have people with high performance in the top, that ranged from 15 to 20, and people uh, from 5 to 15, which is the middle uh, performance, and then from 0 to 5, the low performance. What we found is that 24% had a very good and, and excellent performance that uh, configured in the engagement, in the progression of the group, in the progression of the clinical cases, in the progression of the development of communication abilities and improvement of level of consciousness, improvement of uh, uh, psychological autonomy, and all that uh, for us is a very important parameters for psychic healing or psychic disease. And and we it, it called our attention that the majority of the cases had a, a negative evolution, a, a negative performance without engagement. And we believe this is part of the pandemics of mental disease that we are facing. And so it's a, a pandemic of uh, hypochondriac neurosis and, and negativity and, and, and negative destructive, self-destructive behavior. So not even with the hired psychiatrist uh, uh, that people look for, they wanted to cooperate. So this is something to meditate. But anyway, we have the 24% of the first year, né, that we, we, we believe this will improve in the next years, but we have this 24% that confused around 30 people, and uh, that uh, made a beautiful uh, theatrical group and a beautiful performance. We played Hamlet uh, after Lila, and we played, uh, I played Hamlet in Elsinore, in the, in the castle in Denmark, and then we, I played in Brazil. So we managed to produce and keep working. Uh, the, 
the, the, the clinical part was very challenging because the, the community, my community, Rio de Janeiro, a, a 7 million people uh, city uh, with uh, immense inequalities, with immense uh, uh, monstrosities and violences and, and murder rates, uh, we face a very challenging clinical environment. So we had a case of feminicide, a case of, uh, an emergency of, of appendicitis that I had to diagnose in the community and I sent to the hospital and the person was operated. Two suicide attempts, a stroke and suspicion of autoimmune vasculitis in the context of divorce and transgenerational uh, mental disease. Uh, anti antidepressant intoxication, many burnout, professional burnout syndromes, many uh, severe neurotic syndromes with very hard, uh, very low response to our therapeutic proposal. Uh, the problem of eviction of the project in the community uh, due to family illness and, 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 and betrayal of the project, this happened. It's a very uh, challenging community. A schizof we have several cases of uh, people diagnosed with schizophrenia, with chronic psychosis that in our method with the theatrical work, they uh, evolve well. We have a remarkable positive evolution in this scenario. Uh, we have uh, a case of one patient that left homelessness and is living and, and now he's facing the quarantine and we keep following. Uh, one case of lateral amyotrophic sclerosis in a very severe case of transgenerational family and uh, transgenerational mental disease that died, this case just died yesterday. And uh, we had one case of a first episode psychosis uh, with uh, transgenerational trauma that uh, evolved to healing, and we now we have a, a healing case of, 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 of first episode psychosis with drama therapy and minimum dosage psychotropic medication. So we have been doing this work, we have this uh, in, the, in the streets of Rio with community engagement, families and people working and with the patients who collaborated, the 24 person that collaborated, we had very, very uh, very beautiful clinical results and very uh, interesting evolutions and performances and this very interesting phenomena of that I have been working for 12 years now that that is when you see the patient stop being a patient and becoming an artist and becoming a, an actor a, a, a creative person a person engaged in his own creativity in his own production of culture in his collectivity in his community in the public spaces so it's been very rewarding work and that's why I think it's good new that I publish it in English now in the context of this mental health crisis without precedence ever. Uh, in the end, I see people originated from around 24 uh, communities, even from outside Rio and outside the state of Rio, people from Curitiba, from Sao Paulo. And, and so it's a very diverse uh, range of clients and families. And for us that do Jungian psychology and, and Jungian psychiatry, it's a beautiful window into the collective unconscious. Uh, our king, Reginaldo Terra, keeps engaged for 10 years now in Dionysus Theater, and he's still playing. He played a lot with us in the last, this, those last seasons. And another very important finding that we had was this uh, archetypal complexes that appeared in the clinical syndromes. So when Nisa da Silveira, our great influence, when she met her uh, professor Carl Jung in Zurich, he asked her, do you study mythology? And then she said, mythology, if you, if you don't study mythology, you won't understand the images and the delirium and the uh, fantastic information that the clients, the patients will bring. So if you're doing a, a Jungian approach in psychiatry or in family medicine and community medicine, which is around where we are, where we are né, doing transcultural community psychiatry, uh, you will start to observing the recurrence of uh, uh, archetypes of disease. So gold fever, fetish for money, it's a very common psychological trait. Sometimes 
they're very much common and, and, and very important. Narcissism, egocentrism, egocentrism, psychic vampirism. Uh, these are uh, uh, sick uh, archetypal behaviors of people. And, and I think Freud is an absolute uh, master in the psychology of the ego and how uh, it becomes ill. And then you start, we, we started studying the uh, psychology of the ego with this uh, archetypes for the solar kingships with the work of John Wyatt Perry. Also, the idea of sex war is very common in every case, in every person. Sometimes it's the war between masculine and feminine interior. Now, the interior masculine and feminine, sometimes in the family, the feminine side, so the sex war is a big... The organization of uh, psychotic crisis in ritual dramas of renewal and, and, and John Perry as a reference. Again, the mythic theme of Dionysus that we observed in the clinical setting and also in the theater a lot. Again, pedagogy of dependency versus pedagogy of autonomy, which is a major psychological problem of our society, as discussed by the pedagogist Paulo Freire. And also another very common archetype was the dragon whale archetype that symbolizes the feminine. It's a description of Nisa da Silveira, and this symbolizes the devouring feminine and the devouring monsters that are in the unconscious. So this is a, a probe into the collective unconscious of the community, and I think we are uh, on the way to uh, work each time better those so difficult and complex themes that are pervading all magical practice, actually, in, in community medicine, family medicine, in, in pediatrics. All this will, will be faced because of our collective mental diseases, now, the qualities of our diseases. Also, I have been working a lot in Sao Paulo, in the SESC, Regional do Terra, in the, one of the most recent pictures in, in, in the downtown, playing with us. Also, we worked in Montreal again with my theater group in the art and healing workshop of Dr. Guzder. So, we have been working a lot in uh, producing uh, some media, producing uh, theater spectacles. We played Macbeth in the second semester uh, with the presence of Louise Rosenberg from Canada. She came here and, and now the violent sorrow has become the modern ecstasy as Macbeth, as Shakespeare says in Macbeth. So it, it became a very uh, powerful process that we developed in downtown Rio. We played several times, we presented the play uh, several times with incredible effects, masterful therapeutic effects. I lecture in Venice in, uh, in May uh, on, on, the, on the occasion of the opening of the 58th Biennale di Arte, uh, the Art Biennale of, of, of Venice. In Montreal, uh, lecturing in the consulate with the image of Spinoza and Isida Silveira. The Art and Healing Workshop that we, I had the opportunity to contribute with Dr. Guzder, Dr. Geoffrey Walcott from uh, Jamaica, Dr. Debbie Ann Chambers from Jamaica, Louise Rosenberg also participated. We uh, playing with our old group from the time I lived in Canada and we keep uh, in touch. Now, our Solar King in one of, uh, uh, Reginaldo Terra, in one of the important performances we had in the in the in the justice system of Rio de Janeiro, we participated on an event on mental health promotion, which was very important to uh, what, what was an audience of authorities, and we had a, a remarkable, beautiful performance by our uh, crew, our uh, cast of uh, Dionysus theater actors. Also, the the Hamlet Castle, which was a very important moment, we keep working. And now in February, just before the starting of the pandemics, we had the 50th Global Mental Health Conference in Jamaica, where I had this very, very honor, honor of uh, sharing the stage with my professors, with my, my masters. And, and I think we are uh, advancing this idea of mental health prom promotion through the culture and a, a community practice for medicine and cultural psychiatry 
and, and mental health promotion, some sort of preventive psychiatry that treat people before they get reactivated by so violent social conditions of their traumas. So I want to thank you very much. Uh, Nelson Monteiro Vaz, who is uh, my professor of immunology, who taught me how to do research and how to think. Professor Lawrence Kiermaier, who is our chief in the Division of Transcultural Psychiatry in McGill University. Also Consuelo Errazuriz, who uh, now quit the job of, of, of coordinator of the, of the Transcultural Psychiatry Division, but she's a, a good friend. Professor Frederick Hicklin, who is the greatest living psychiatrist today in the world, in doing remarkable, incredible work of mental health promotion in, in schools and pe with people, Dream a World Project. Professor Jairo Werner, uh, Jr., which is my professor from my, my medical school, who is also have been a supporter and a, a key dialogue for us here in Rio de Janeiro. My, I want to thank my partner, Fabio Stone, who uh, lives in Paraguay. Also thank Monica Arpin, uh, the wife of Jacques Arpin. My partner here in Rio, my friend uh, Regina Porto, Cecilia Gepfert, Pablo Medroero, all the actors and all the people who played with us in the in the last year of the of the of the Dionysus Theater, and also the founding actor of Dionysus Theater with me, ja, uh, Pelezinho, Jaci Oliveira, Reginaldo Terra, Miriam Rodriguez, Berenice Xavier, and Demetrius Lucas, who also played with us. And last but not least, the online supporters that donate. Uh, symbolic and small amounts of money to support our efforts and we keep growing and doing the campaign. Uh, we keep working in circles and we end with Nise when she says, instead of, of, of archaic impulses exter exteriorize themselves in a violent way, we offer them the evolution that human species have developed during millennia to express, dance, mimic representations, painting, sculpting, and music. That will be the simplest and the most efficient way. So Dr. Nisi da Silveira, we do mental health promotion, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and we work in public spaces. We are the Dionysus Theater, mental health promotion to everyone. Thank you and keep playing and keep uh, sharing our work and, and, and telling that we will have inevitably to go into cultural reformulation because the medium is the message. Without cultural reformulation, we won't move into mental health promotion, we won't move into pedagogy of autonomy, we won't move into a satisfactory and sustainable social organization. This is uh, the work of Paulo Freire that had been published in the 60s, but also the work of Hippocrates, that is the, one of the oldest physicians known, when he talks about the importance of uh, community health, of uh, cleanliness, of uh, water, of food, of relationships, of dreams, of discourse. And all this is the Hippocratic uh, discourse on, on health and disease. And I think we are uh, advancing this medical practice in a cultural mental health promotion way. There is no health without mental health. And true health, mel, true men, uh, uh, true uh, health promotion is mental health promotion. Thank you very much.